Beowulf and his men travel to the shores of Grendel's deep, murky pond to avenge Hrothgar's right-hand man. Beowulf sails to the middle of the pond. He takes a lantern from the boat, says goodbye to his men, and dives down into the pond's deep, foreboding depths. His men wait patiently at the shores, hoping Beowulf will survive. Beowulf seems to fall for hours until he finally reaches the dark bottom floor. Troll is waiting for him there. They run at each other, scratching, punching, and clawing at each other. Beowulf's sword fails him, and Troll kicks him across the cave floor. She then climbs on top of the cave and finds a gold sword. She jumps from the cave with ease and lands near Beowulf's limp body. She delivers the life-ending blow to Beowulf's neck, and blood spatters the cave floor. Beowulf seems to disappear into the pond itself, and all but his blood remains for his men to find. His men know Beowulf has failed and return to their ship. There is no helping this land now. They flee back home. Trolla is not finished with her work. She triumphantly leaps from the pond's water and heads for the mead hall. She kicks down the door and conquers the hall. Finally, Trolla is queen.